Hey everybody, it's a new day and we are now transitioning to talk to the uh, talk about the first of our sociological theorists, Karl Marx. His work begins in the that we're looking at begins in the middle of the 19th century and this work unlike the work of Adam Smith, which is about economics, um, Marx's work comes in the midst of the Industrial Revolution. So Marx is responding to an environment, a social world, an economic world that is has similarities to what Adam Smith and our other theorists were talking about in the our work on um, classical theorists in the Age of Reason. But his world um, also looks different because of industrialization. So in your readings for class, what you need to do is focus on four important, finding what are the important ideas, and you'll identify, everyone will identify four of them, four important ideas in the Industrial Revolution. Um, so look at what were the conditions of technology? What were the conditions of travel? What were cities like? What was work like? What were, um, and what above all constituted the necessity that people had to go to work for a wage? That's where Marx will get us started. Um, the, so the, um, In this period of time, the reason why we focus first on the historical con context of the Industrial Revolution is because we can see that this condition has changed in an irrevocable way the um, way that people live. So we've talked already about a paradigm shift. The world has changed much more completely from a traditional way of living to a market way of living. What Marx argues and what you'll be able to find when you um, look first at the background reading on Marx but then in the original reading of, of Marx is that the market style of living is no longer a choice. Everyone has to is contained within a system where they're required to um, earn a wage in order to engage in um, obtaining the things that they need in order to live, obtaining the shelter they need in order to live. So you will find this market style of living is no longer a choice, is the consequence of the Industrial Revolution. So get ready to think about the Industrial Revolution, take notes about what are some of the features of the Industrial Revolution that we can put together as a class to think about this as the context for Marx, and then get yourself ready to read your background on Marx's theory and then read Marx himself. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.